in the month of September, happy birthday! Hey, I'm gonna take Ali's hand. All of us here just want to wish you the happiest birthday, and we pray that this is the best birthday yet. We love you. Welcome back to Young! It's me again, Miss Kiffy. Do you guys remember the Ark of the Covenant? The Ark was a reminder for the Israelites that God was with them. Well, in today's story, the Ark of the Covenant was stolen! <gasps> Do you guys want to know what happened? Me too! But before we start our lesson, let's pray. Dear Jesus, we can't wait for today's lesson. It's gonna be good! In Jesus' name we pray, Amen! The people of Israel and the Philistines did not get along. The Israelites fought a battle against the Philistines and the Philistines won. The Israelites were confused. Why had God allowed them to lose? The Israelites made a plan to take the Ark of God to the battle. The Ark of God was a beautiful box from the tabernacle that reminded the people that God was with them. They thought the ark might help them win the battle. Eli's sons, the priests, 
took the Ark of the Covenant to the Israelites' camp. When the army of Israelites saw the Ark, they shouted with joy, Surely they would win the battle now. The Israelites fought the battle, but the Philistines won again. Many Israelites died, including Eli's two sons, and the Philistines captured the Ark of God. The Philistines took the Ark of God to a temple where they worshipped Dagon, a false god. They put the Ark next to a statue of Dagon. The next morning, the Philistines went to the temple and saw that Dagon's statue was face down in front of the Ark. They set the statue back up. The next day, it was face down again and its head and hands were broken off. God punished the people living in the city where the Ark of God was. God made them really sick. The people in that city wanted to get rid of the Ark. When they moved the Ark to another city, everyone in that city got sick. So they moved the Ark to a third city. Then everyone in that city got sick as well. The Philistines were afraid. They didn't want God to punish them anymore. So they decided to return the ark along with gifts of gold to show they were sorry for taking it. The people hitched two cows to a cart and put the ark on the cart. The cows moved the ark down the road until the ark of God was back with the Israelites, where it belonged. Whoa, what a story! The ark of God reminded the Israelites that God was with them. Many years later, God gave His people something even better to remind them that He was with them. God sent His Son Jesus, and one of Jesus' names is Emmanuel, which means God with us. Are you guys ready for our new key passage? It's God is great! Alright, let's say it together! God is great! Awesome, everybody! It's quiz time! Yay! This time, we're going to have a little game with some friends. But you guys at home, play with us too, okay? And shout out the answer if you know it. So, all right, contestants, please introduce yourself. Well, my name is Joel, and I'm one of God's chosen people, an Israelite. I'm Akron. I'm the enemy of the Israelites, the Philistines, yeah! <laughs> Well, all right now. <laughs> First, before we get started, you guys need to choose a buzzer sound. And if you guys wanted to answer, you have to make that sound first. So, what is your buzzer sound, Joel? I see. Okay, what about Akron? I see that, very simple, I like it. All right, and the rules of the game. So I will read the question here, okay? So whoever can make the answer right will get a score, obviously, but you have to make the buzzer sound first. Then you get the chance to answer it. But if you make a wrong answer, your opponent can steal it. All right, we're ready? Are we ready? Let's, oh, do, let's it. do it, got this. Are you guys ready? Okay, okay. All right, so first question. What did the Israelites decide to take to battle, thinking it will help them defeat the Philistines? Oh, let's see, Akron. I know this. Hmm. It's the Ark of God. And that is correct. Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay, are you ready for a second question? Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right, so the score is one for Akron so far and zero for Joel. You got it. You got it. All right, second question. So who took the Ark of God from the Israelites? Ah. Ooh, very close. I think it's Joel. That's easy. The Philistines. Yes, that is correct. Oh. Wow. Okay, the score is the same so far, guys. We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. Okay, third question. What is the false god the Philistine worship? Um, Akron. Yes. Okay, I know see. this. I know mm -hmm. this. I know this. It's dragon. It's dragon. <laughs> wow, that is not correct, uh, unfortunately. Well, 
Joe, you get the chance to answer this right this time. Yeah, I do know the answer. It's Dagon. Yeah, uh, that is correct. Wow, well, the score is two versus one. All right, this is the final question. So, Joe, if you get this right, you will be our winner for the day. All right, last question. What happened to the people who live in the town where the Philistine put the Ark of God? It's Joe. Uh, uh, so the, 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 the people got sick. Yeah, that is correct. So, Joe, congratulations and good job, everybody at home. We'll see you again next week. Well, guys, I had the best time with you today. I hope you had fun too. Don't forget to join our Zoom classes this afternoon. Until then, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for today. Bless our week ahead. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you.